Hello everyone, welcome to Git tutorial. I am going to take 10 minutes and explain you the commands which we use regularly day to day in our projects. Let's get started. First, let's go ahead and create a Git repository. Let me name this Git in 10 minutes. Let me choose the owner for your case. Selecting owner may not be required because you may be having a single owner that is default selected. Create the repository. Copy this repository URL. I want to open the terminal because I want to clone this empty repository to my local git clone repository url this is our first command if you want to work on any new project which doesn't exist in local already you must use clone command and get the copy to local then cd into this repository let me increase the font yeah cd into this repository let me open Visual Studio Code in this. Let's see how to add a file into Git repository. Create a file, a random file name, putting some random text. Now I want to commit this file to local git repository. Go to git bash in windows and this is the terminal for mac users. git add file name. This command is to stage a file. Remember if you want to commit files you must stage them before committing. add is a command to stage a file if you want to add multiple files i mean you want to stage multiple files you can use star which is a regular expression which indicates all you can use things like star.java meaning adding all dot java files likewise that is about staging a file if you want to check the current local repository status we could use git status command it's giving information such as we are on branch main and there is a file in staging area if you want to remove this use this command for unstaging a file but i want to commit this file git commit hyphen m stands for commit message commit it committing is nothing but committing changes to local repository later this must go to remote repository for that get push origin main here git push command is going to push local commits to remote repository origin is the alias name of remote repository i mean every time instead of using complete remote repository url which is tedious process git creates alias for that remote repository main is the branch got it so behind the scenes this url is pointing to origin instead of typing this complete url we can just use origin as a short name the commits are pushed to remote let's go to git remote repository and verify those commits let's refresh the page i see info.txt 
committed to remote repository. Let me cover next command that is git logs command I mean log command this command shows commit history in the repository we made only one commit this one represents commit id next line represents the author who made this commit it's me and the timestamp when this commit is made and commit message why this commit is made all right git log comes in various options like i could say one line so instead of giving commit history in greater details like long commit id author details everything it will show entire information in the short form in the precise manner even we can limit number of commits we want to see let's say currently we have 100 commits in the repository running this git log command will try to show all 100 maybe first it will show the commands that fits in the screen then scrolling down you can go and see more and more commands but sometimes we don't want to list entire history i want to limit the commit history to recent three commits four commits you, you can do that with help of hyphen three hyphen four in this case it's going to show only recent three commits even though we have only one assume we have lots of commits this command should show only recent three all right now let's see how to use commands git commands to work with branches git branch branch name let's say i am working on a new feature we should not commit changes directly to main we should create a separate branch and work in that branch git branch branch name command creates a new branch after that still we are in main branch but i want to make changes in feature one branch git checkout branch name this command is used to switch the branch yeah now branch is switched we can go ahead and make changes in this branch let's try that now we are in feature branch save it come back to terminal first command is git add either star or the file name followed by git commit there is one shortcut you can do git add and commit in a single command that is git commit hyphen a hyphen m and message hyphen a means stage all files and do the commit using this commit message instead of doing this in two different commands that is git add star and git commit we are doing that in a single command enter we are done with staging and committing now i want this to be in remote so that i can create a pr pull request so my team can review my changes git push origin you know what origin is here then the branch name don't push to main okay uh, push to feature one why because before merging changes to main we want changes to be reviewed come to git repository remote one and there are two branches 
feature one has a commit new commit which is not present in main in real world how we merge changes is any change we work on should be done in a separate branch that's the practice followed by use a pr so that team can review the changes you made pr is created by going to pull request you can click on compare and pull request the branch containing commits or feature slash one and those commits should go to main so from feature we are going to merge changes to main if you want you can write some description about this pull request in real world you must add reviewers because this let's say this is the change i made but i want my team member to review this i should click on reviewers search for that reviewer details select and create a pull request now reviewer gets email notification and when he finds time he will go to that pull request he will see how many commits are made how many files are changed and he can pinpoint which line is changed if he wants to add some review comments he can just click on this add and add review comments so that the team member will make changes as per the review comments after the review process is finished the reviewer will approve the merge request or pull request then only the developer get merge pull request option so click on merge again click on confirm merge changes are merged to main it's giving a option to delete feature one branch of course we can delete it because this is not a long living branch this is a short living branch we created this branch only for a particular feature so feel free to delete this branch in the remote likewise we want to delete it in the local as well what i am going to do is get branch hyphen d means delete the branch name let's try deleting it we can't delete it because we are in the same branch and we cannot delete the current branch means if you want to delete this branch switch to a different branch the command to switch a branch is git checkout branch name now you go ahead and try to do delete now you get a different problem the problem is git is telling you boss feature 1 is not fully merged maybe you you want to merge please go ahead and merge it then delete it or let's say you don't want these changes and you want to permanently discard it you simply go ahead and use git branch hyphen capital d followed by branch name meaning force delete okay but i don't want to force delete uh, changes are already merged in remote those changes are not reflecting in local uh, of course because local and remote are two different copies unless we do some syncing they are two different uh, and locally it is not merged and git is saying boss it is not merged be careful you're deleting you might lose your changes okay now i want to tell my git boss yes it is already merged but it is merged in remote i will run git pull origin main in remote main commits are merged those commits i am pulling to local and merging with local branch that is main now local also git knows it is merged now you go to git branch hyphen d branch name to delete a branch these are the git basic commands i want to cover thanks for watching